every year we take our kids, and now that the kids are getting a little older, the significant others, we go on a vacation. We all spend time together in December every year. And, and that gives me time to reflect on my business. And because I knew that I was going to be talking about some of these things, I studied that cruise ship very carefully. And uh, what a business they have. Take a look at this. So first, uh, I call the business Get a Finger, Grab the Hand. Get a finger, grab the hand, okay? Uh, it's a go deep strategy. They, they get you in. This is one of the big shortcomings of speakers, by the way, is the best companies get you in and then they sell more and more and more. They more and more. How much stuff do you keep selling? Not very much. And that's something that uh, I want you to address. So here's the way they operate. They sell you a fair price cabin with the entertainment and the basic food and all the things you need to have a vacation. And then you go on your merry way. And once that happens, they launch a nuclear assault <laughs> on your credit card. It's, uh, it's merciless what they do. Um, you know, you used to watch that show, The Love Boat, and you saw that program director, and you know, she's all nice. That's not what, they're not doing shuffleboard. They are the chief sales officer for those companies. These are floating cash registers. I mean, that's all there is to it. And I, it's, it's just, it's a brilliant thing. And I'm gonna tell you something. Then they take you to these excursions, right? And you get off the, the thing, and we, uh, we all went uh, dune buggy riding or something. So we got on these things. We're driving around this island. And about halfway, it's a, about a maybe three-hour thing. About an hour and a half in, they stop for a rest break, and we're going to uh, use the restroom. And I'm thinking, well, I'll probably go to some beach, some outhouses, or whatever. No, that's not what happens. I mean, these are people that, that are not educated, but they understand this material better than most of us. So what happens? They drive us to like an oasis in the middle of a desert. They, they got like a, a stand with restrooms and a gift shop and they're selling stuff. I mean, there's, there's like all these things that you could do and, and they owned it. So first they got your money from taking the excursion. This, I'm not talking about the ship. I'm talking about the native, whoever the people were lived on the island. They get your money from living on, from, uh, from taking the excursion. Then they take you to their place and they're selling you soda and they're selling you, I don't know, uh, little figurines and I don't know. Uh, tchotchkes, all kinds of tchotchkes of, of every kind you could think of, shirts and goodies, and, and people are buying like crazy, because like, like, they're never coming back to this place, right? So they, so they got to buy everything, right? This is the one chance of their lifetime to get the, the souvenirs from this one place. And <laughs> it's what they know, you know? So anyway, on these cruise ships, every employee is a salesperson. Every employee is a salesperson. This is an important concept. Write that one down. Everyone is a seller. Everyone in your organization, and I've, I, you know, when I've discussed this with larger companies, even the janitor, you're either selling or you're anti-selling. You're doing one of the two things. You're either making people like you or not like you, and they're either going to be inclined or disinclined to do things with you. So